Hi, I'm Junie Witter, aka Junior the Switch Kitter Witter. Two time British champion, two way Commonwealth European, WU International, two time world champion, and of course with the WBC World well, Title being the best. Helen Cuffney is creative, as in asked me to um, ask her a few questions, so here I am. Funny story, um, I had a friend over at school, a good friend of mine, he was bragging about he was a boxer, having fights, winning titles. And I went, so you beat people up and don't get in trouble? And he went, yeah. And I went, that sounds like me. Uh, found out when he did it, um, an old school, in Bradford Roadway School. So I turned up on a Friday night and joined in. Once a week for four weeks. And then entered the Bradford Championships. One day after school, on the Friday, did the four weeks training as it was once a week on a Friday. Finished that, and then entered the Bradford Championship. Had a medical on the night, took part in the first fight in the semi-final, boxed in the benches, which is, um, don't do them anymore, they're a little bit dangerous. Stopped a kid on that one, and then boxed the following Saturday, Proper ring, home show, box kid called Jason Joseph, and lost. But I look and I think he'd been training for four years. I'd had four training sessions. So I did all right. But after that, I liked it. I met my old amateur trainer there, the legendary Alec Allen. Alec Pop Allen, as he was known. And I went along to Bradford Police Boys with a friend, another friend who was going to that gym. Told me about it. And I thought, okay, we'll go down there. And just went from there and loved it. I'm all right at football. I like playing. I play on the right wing up front. I'm an attacking pad player, but I like to cross it in as well. I was naive when I went into the pro game, as in what it was all about. I turned up on my first night. I was supposed to be on second on the night. As I was getting ready at six o'clock, I was more or less ready to get in the ring. It would change on the build, put me from second to third because of some technical problems. So the person who went in second, got knocked out. The ambulance came, took him to hospital. It took an hour for the ambulance to come back. I was there, they said, right, your fight's been put back. You're now going live swing, which means I'm going on in between the, the main two fights, top of the bill and the main undercard, if one of them goes short. Didn't happen, they both went the full distance. I ended up boxing last on the bill, about half past 11. So I'd been waiting, ready for five hours. Box had a good fight. Box kid called Cameron Rayside dropped him in the second round. Referee picked him up, didn't count it, beat him up for the rest of the rest of the fight, and managed to somehow get a draw when I clearly won it. And at that point in my life, I'm looking, thinking, I've not won my first fight. I'm not going to go anywhere. Where's my life going to go? What am I going to do now? Brendan Ingalls was there, trainer. He came in and he says. You'll be all right, that was a good performance. See you on Monday morning. And we just snowballed from that. Yeah, so I went back to the gym on Monday morning and just carried on. I had probably another five, four fights. Won them consecutively. I had one stoppage win. Box kid called John Green, Lee Molyneux, Andres Panaye. And just carried on getting my points win, moving forward with my career. And, started to understand the game better, learning stuff and enjoying it. I've always switched. I've been switching from my amateur days since I was about 14. Came to the Ingle gym. I could box orthodox, I could box southpaw and I could switch between the two decent. But what Brendan taught me was how to do it more comfortably every other step. I wasn't thinking about it, I just did it. It put some grounding into what we were doing. And it worked. It worked brilliantly. The diet has changed. Especially over the last 10 years. When I started boxing, diet knowledge was very poor. Boxing was so secretive about who they trained, what time did they train, how many sessions they have done, what they ate. No one told anybody anything. Now, it's everybody on social media. Everybody knows what everybody's doing. Everybody sees what they're dieting. I never drunk water coming in from my first few fights. Even when I won my first few titles, the British, the Commonwealth, the European. 
I wasn't drinking water during training through them sessions. I had a diet where I was low carb, high protein, a lot of protein shakes, but vitamins obviously, but not water. So therefore, I struggled making weight. Now at the end of my career, I was at a stage where I was drinking four liters of water a day, six liters of water a day, two liters of water per session, two liters through the day. By six o'clock on every night, I've done six liters of water, and then I can relax, not bother about drinking my water, get up the next morning, start it all over again. But on that side, that's the major change in boxing. The nutrition, the information around boxing, how that whole world has become open to everybody to see. There's the Hatton, which everybody knows and knows why. We had the long grudge, had a beat him. He was a popular fighter. It was a big money fight. It was a, it was probably the biggest fight that never happened. And then there's Mayweather, the challenge. And if someone said to me, which fight could I have at the two, if I wouldn't have one of them, I'd say Mayweather. And it's not for the money, what people think, because even if the money for the Mayweather was the same as the Hatton, it's still plenty of money to live on. Money's not a right big thing for me. It's a challenge, and Mayweather was the challenge. The fight, I agreed to the fight three times uh, throughout my career. I think the first one was about 2001, which was too early. It happened a little bit later than that, about 2003. And then 2006 is when it should have happened. He was realistically the fighter that everybody wanted to beat for skill level technical. But I, I looked at my style, my angle, my speed, my power, my ag aggression. I went on a run of 15 knockouts in a row just before that fight. The aggression was there, the power was there, the determination was there, the skill level, everything was there for that fight and right for me. But he was given a three month extension. He had the three months and then he moved up weight rather than fight me. I've got a heavyweight, Cash Alley from Rotherham. Central area heavyweight champion. A lot of potential. I've known him since he was like 21. He's the one that I think of at the minute. Just keep an eye out for. I've just stepped away from the Ingle gym. I've been training the amateurs there for three years. Now because Brendan's passed, things have changed. I've stepped away, I've set my own gym. Just in Rotherham, formerly the Rotherham Amateur Boxing Association at the Rotherham Football Centre. Um, it will be changed to Witters Boxing Gym. I've got amateurs coming through. I've got a brand new pro just going pro, turning with me. I've got Cash Ali I train. And it's looking like it's, it's going very well at the minute. Get some more staff on board, get some more trainers. Show them how, teach them how I do it. And we're just going to push forward and met big things so I will be around for many years to come.